cryofacials and cryo body treatments are becoming more and more popular nowadays to make it super easy and the movements are so elegant and slow 100% holistic you will just need the conductive gel I love this treatment it's so cool Hello everyone, today we will be talking about the cryotherapy. Cryofacials and cryo body treatments are becoming more and more popular nowadays and I know exactly why. First and foremost, this is one of the most natural, one of the most holistic ways to address skin rejuvenation and also to help your clients achieve their slimming goals. My personal favorite part of the cryo is that this specific technology is 100% holistic. There is low to no country indication to this treatment and it's a whole complete pleasure to perform it. I truly love to do this treatment to see that skin changes right away and also clients in 99.9% .9 of cases see the instant changes of their faces with the more slimmer look, more even skin tone, less inflammation, less redness and more common hydrated skin. So let's dive deep and I will tell you what the cry is and how to use it. So cryo technology, there are multiple types of cryo on the market. This technology is not new. This technology is very, very, very old in general. So it came from the ancient times when it was just ice and it was used in multiple variations by very famous people such as Cleopatra that was using the ice bus, such as Marilyn Monroe that was using the ice bus for the skin rejuvenation and very holistic approach to tighten the skin in the most natural way. Now you have a few modalities of the cryo so just to determine and to classify different cryo technologies i want to give you a general heads up of what you might see on the market it can be cryo chambers for the whole body treatment that will boost your immune response that will bring more healthy blood lymphatic circulation to the entire body those are below sub-zero temperatures nitrogen used a little bit more complicated because you need to use the nitrogen tanks liquid nitrogen a little bit more dangerous process then another type of the cryo would be the vacuum associated cryo technologies directed for the medical use for the slimming those are completely different technology there is also the spray the co2 spray that can be used for the general wellness and rejuvenation of the facial features can be used to remove reduce pain to reduce inflammation or edema on the certain areas can be used in the sports practice and wellness treatments and the most interesting is the newest technology that is used for the estheticians by the estheticians for their clients in the aesthetic practice. This technology is called the Cryo Elegance. This specific device, Cool Restore Elegance, is the 100% holistic, very natural general wellness device that can address facial and body concerns and target healthy response of your body by achieving goals that you place. It can be less edema, more even skin tone, less redness, less white pores less oily gloss from the skin it can be lifted eyebrows more bright and more healthy look of the eyes it can be more tight skin on the uh, jawline it can be slim double chin if your clients have the extra weight and the saggy skin on this area you can address that it can be used on arms on lower back on the body to target cellulite local fatty deposits and also overall to tighten the skin but again the most important way this is done in the most holistic and natural way. I like to compare this technology as an ice cube that will never melt. It's kind of like a very advanced way to use the ice in the very controlled way. So you control the level of the temperature on the skin and it will never melt. So you keep the hand with cold all the time without potential danger or side effects because this one again is a very very gentle and very holistic approach. Okay so the cryo elegance technology in this specific device it's presented through the cool restore elegance device if you can see the menu is done for the esthetician to make it super easy and to make it very pleasant to perform the treatment to receive this treatment and to finally see the awesome results after every single treatment so this menu will have seven treatment protocols built in and ready to use eye lifting face rejuvenation jawline sculpting double chin slimming neck firming body slimming and hand revival each of these preset modes will have specific settings of the cold temperature range that will not go low 
lower than safe so we already thought of what temperature you would need to hold the skin on and we preset it to those temperature ranges what you have to do when you select your mode is simply adjust how intense you want your treatment to be gentle moderate or strong so this is changeable and based on your selection the handpiece will cool lower or will stay more gentle on higher temperature ranges here in the middle you can see the current temperature which is measuring for now it's a room temperature it's measured in celsius because uh, we are international company came in from europe so 23 celsius is about the room temperature right now as soon as i will start the treatment it will eventually cool down to the preset lowest range so let's see it shows me to use the small handpiece and if we are using the eye lifting it won't even give me a chance to choose the big one so again it's safe it's kind of preventative to ensure that you are using it in the proper way as soon as i'm ready i have 30 minutes i can adjust it hit start now the hand piece lights up blue i can hear the ventilation i can hear also the water circulation inside of the hand piece if you can see the temperature is dropping lower from 23 to 17 16 now and it will cool down to its lowest preset temperature range which is safe again for the mode that you use so for the eye lifting the lowest temperature here would be definitely much higher than the one that you would use for the body so right now if you see it's dropping as soon as it's gonna be about plus one positive one or zero it's gonna be a sign for me to start so i will just use the gel to conduct the cold use my handpiece and perform the treatment using gliding motions i will show you how to do it really really soon to perform your cryo elegance facial protocols you may use a couple of different options of the treatment protocols the most common and the most widely used would be using just the gel so pretty much to use the cryo technology you will just need the conductive gel to ensure that the cool is being evenly conducted through the gel to the skin if you do want to go further and to add a little bit more hydrating element to this treatment you can also use the serum that will be first applied to the skin topically on the area to be treated to hydrate the skin and then on top of it you can add a little bit of conductive gel to conduct the cold going evenly through the skin so i will be using just the gel i will apply it around the eyes and then i will show you how to use the small cryo ones around the eyes for the cryo facial okay so the eyes cryo elegance treatment you would need to apply the thick layer of the gel to make sure that the wand can glide easily and also gel will help to conduct the coldness as soon as your hand base of the cryo is on the zero so sometimes you can see it like this but if you'll touch it you feel how cold it is or it might be have a little bit crisp of the ice already on the surface very important and the first contact make sure you don't just place it in one spot and hold make sure you're moving right away so you're not sticking to the surface of the skin it's gonna be super cold right now get ready so super slow gliding motion this is the key to success that is why the technology is called the cryo elegance the movements are so elegant and slow we also call them hustle free there is no need to rush to move too quick super slow super elegant and here is the simple simple explanation why the slower you move the more time you're giving your skin to reduce resistance because your skin is normally warm it's usually 36.6 degrees celsius and it resists to the coldness of the hand so the slower you move the more time you're giving to your wand to break this resistance and to cool down the skin temperature lower so if you want to achieve great results no rush slow down and move super elegantly slowly on this area so the eye cryo treatment will take no longer than five minutes on one eye usually it's from three to five as soon as this is done you can either do other treatments or continue with other areas of the face with the cryo technology for the facial cryo treatment step you would need to change the settings on the device apply the gel on the treated area wait until the hand piece will cool down to its lowest preset temperature usually it takes three minutes from the moment you press the start button and then you continue with the treatment the first contact with the skin should be in motion you cannot just place and hold you need to move the handles
the secret tool is the same. The slower you move, the more coldness you are able to accumulate in one treatment area. Another point, the less treatment area, the smaller the size of the treatment area, the more cold you are able to accumulate. So if you want to go really cold, then you will need to slow down and work area by area. Don't try to speed up and move on too large area. So this will be less effective way. This will be much more effective way. So what you can do, you can start on one side, slowly using circular motions, then move a bit higher, slow down. Always check the current temperature on the device screen and you will have the treatment protocols with the detailed recommendation on what temperature range you need to stay to maintain this temperature to achieve certain skin results. But usually the slower, the better. The smaller area that you are covering, the more cold you are able to accumulate. I apply a bit of pressure to add a little bit of mechanical manual massage to this treatment to make sure that I also stimulate lymphatic drainage manually, not just physically through the cold vasoconstriction effect. I love this treatment, it's so cool. Moving on to the next treatment area, which might be our jawline area. So you can either do it as a one treatment process, or you can just do the solo treatment on the jawline. Your device allows you to select the specific treatment mode for the jawline. I've already selected on my screen. It's on the strong mode. The temperature is currently dropping lower. So as soon as it's gonna be on its lowest, I will start the treatment. Jawline sculpting treatment protocol, same concept. Always follow lymphatic flow direction, starting from the middle of the face in this case it's chin and then you're moving on top of the jawline area to the periphery the slower the better the less area you are trying to cover through one treatment step the more cold you're able to accumulate so do it step by step area by area circle motions and then you will gradually move toward the jawline angle towards the ear. As soon as the treatment uh, area is already cooled down, you can add gliding motions to maintain this cold temperature on this area, starting again from the middle of the face towards the periphery. So relaxing, my goodness. The next treatment protocol I want to show you is the double chin sling. You would need to select this mode on the device, select the intensity, hit start, wait for three minutes when the handpiece will cool down to its lowest. For the double chin, it's gonna be sub-zero in Celsius. It's gonna be approximately negative seven, negative eight. As soon as this will start being crusty, really cold, you can start the treatment. With the double chin slimming, you want to stay really, really really slow on one almost in one spot so you do move the handpiece but focusing on one spot it will help to first stimulate vasoconstriction to close the superficial capillaries and then as soon as this treatment will be over the logical anatomical and physiological reaction will be the vasodilation when the capillaries will be wide open bringing all the oxygenated blood to the surface of the skin as soon as you are done with this cooling step you would need to provide the manual lymphatic drainage massage As soon as the double chin slimming cryo treatment is over, you would need to provide lymphatic drainage massage, applying mild pressure, following into the direction of lymphatic flow, starting from the middle and going to the periphery on the submandibular area, making sure that you are bringing all the lymph from this area towards the closest lymph nodes. Cryo elegant snack treatment. You would need to apply the gel with the thick layer on the area to be treated. Turn on the mode. So if you can see, for the neck treatment, the device will tell you to use the large handpiece. This handpiece will cover larger area of the skin, will cool down faster and will bring this beautiful, natural, cold sensation deep into the skin. Same concept. The slower you move, the more cold you can accumulate. You can do it 
on all the areas of the neck, including the projection of the thyroid gland, because it doesn't use any kind of electrical current or the ultrasound, meaning that it's a 100% holistic way to address the skin laxity and rejuvenate the skin. So even people who have issues with thyroid gland won't be the contraindication group. Circular motions from bottom going up towards the jawline, the slower, the more cold you will be able to accumulate. For the hand cryo treatment, you would need to apply the gel with the thin layer evenly and then use the hand mix. Make sure you're gliding using super slow circular motions. Then you can move up on the palm of the hand, starting from lower. Summarizing our beautiful cryo experience, Cryo Elegance made with the Cool Restore Elegance device is one of the most holistic and natural way to address your client's skin concerns. You can treat face, body, any areas. I love it. Easy to provide, very nice to perform this treatment, beautiful to receive this treatment, and you can charge anywhere from $100 to $350 for one treatment session, which can last from 5 to 30 minutes. I hope you like this video, guys, and we'll see you in the next one.